Hello there and welcome back. Welcome back to what is an amazing one day special, but we have to say congratulations to our Thank lovely Paula. How are you doing? I'm really excited and terrified. And oh. I'm, you know, I was just, yeah, very excited. Now, if you're not aware, you might not have seen it via social media, but Paula, do you want to tell the lovely people or shall I? <laughs> you, you did, honours. <laughs> As you know, we've had all sorts of fabulous changes going on here at Sachanda, and we are welcoming our lovely Paula to our presenting team. So congratulations, Thank you're going to you. be one of us. Yes, I mean, I can't believe you it. Are, yeah, yeah. Well, yes, and the red, um, it's just an ama amazing privilege, and I mean that because I was one crafted um, that came to this country in 2002 and started watching craft TV, shopping television. The first day that Hochanda launched, I was watching. Then I became part of the guest presenters, and now presenters. So I think uh, I, everybody at home will know how. I feel right now that so it's a privilege to be here and be sharing everything and be first hand, you know, to see all the amazing crafters. Well, no, and I think we're equally as privileged to have you as part of oh, our team. Thank, so you. thank you. But yeah. good news, you will still be involved with yes. your design work. So this is the best news as well that this allows me to still kind of work with uh, practical publishing or craft sites, depending how you, you look at it, and bringing, you know, working with them to help to develop products. Of course, writers, I will keep going. And that's so good news. So yeah, it's, it's very, very exciting. I'm very, very fortunate and lucky. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to see it all underway. So, yeah, that's our first bit of uh, good news. But even better news is that we've got a fabulous one day special. Details of which are up on your screen. And you can see there you've got a whopping great saving of £8 on this one, allowing you to get the 20 dies and your 18, um, 18 stamps and your embossing folder as well at that fabulous price just for 24 hours. Now, Paula, this is a lovely collection. It is. And it is uh, one of those ones that is a perfect bundle. It's like one, in, one kit that has got stamps, lights, and embossing folder. This embossing folder is A5 size, so it's a really nice, big, large size, but it's very cleverly designed, so you can use a smaller elements if you wanted to. The idea is to represent the inside of a room. It has that beautiful floral pattern for the background, that kind of floral paper, but of course it can be trimmed down to be just beautiful paper uh, in there. But then it has got the wooden panels and then the floorboards. So this is what it can create the background. It creates the scene, says the home, says that kind of warmthness. And then of course you are getting the dyes that will kind of cut the big large Christmas tree, the sofa with the pillows, the plush pillows that the, you know you have got there, the cat and a dog, you have got flowers, you have got the stocking, you have got even the clock in the shelf. And then you have got that frame with that area which is perfect for many of the sentiments that you are also getting here in the stamp set because you are getting an A5 stamp set there as well including 18 stamps which various sizes and we are going to start the demo with, with the stamping you have got vertical sentiments beautiful script sentiments like home sweet home that is not necessarily for Christmas and then you have got those ones that are warm and cozy that are perfect for the wintry nights and as well you have got elements in there to build that paper discovery theme which is always building scenes that takes you through the hand and takes you to different places last time we were in a more oriental now we are getting into the warmth of a home and I love this because it's like you're literally stepping inside to a really cozy room yeah. what a clever idea I mean you've got the embossing there giving you the floor in there and that fabulous wallpaper it is and it's a really nice way to incorporate it if you see it here in this one see how I have ch chopped it a little bit and I highlight it more that embo uh, that embossing in bottom, so it's more of a, a kind of a wooden paneling. It looks like it's been matte and layered, but it's all it's, part of the it's same thing. It's the piece. same one. What I did is use distressed inks, oxides on the top, and regular ones on the bottom, and I am masked. But of course, this is a perfect card for something that is not Christmas, and this is what I love about it. That is a bundle that allows you to go into very home decor in a card. Well, <laughs> yeah. And also that little frame. I mean, you could have a photograph that you kind of yes. minimise down and it put a little. That would be really, there, really nice. <laughs> and you could have a gallery of, you know, like you kind could. of a, all the, you could do, um, um, you know, a tree, family tree, and yes. then you can have each That's family a good idea. in there, and you can do the rooms, and then each Very room good. you can have, um, yeah. you know, that would be great for a memory album. Now, I just wanted to show you that you can do a lot of different styles. This is more kind of my traditional style, which is more kind of modern and fresh, and then I use even the inside uh, of that frame to create a mirror. 
I love you know, flowers. and the flowers and the table. It's just, it's just such a cool little element. And of course, the sentiment is part as well as the one day special. I love that. Now the little cat and the little dog feature in here yeah. as well. That is a cozy cat. It is. And I just, uh, again, I done the embossing in white, and I know it's hard, you know, sometimes on TV to see it, but just to show that it adds texture into it and keep it very clean and simple. And then, what about doing a very modern, vibrant Christmas card with that big bold. Uh, tree and those bubbles that are and the, the presents as well are included in the kit now uh, of course I have gone for um, you know bright pink and silver but you can um, personalize completely that Which Christmas did, tree yeah. to, to suit if you want more traditional colors as well or you can keep it mighty contemporary when you see this um, the selection of dyes, so you're getting a lot of dyes for your money with yes. this one. So you pop them onto a magnetic sheet yes. here. I mean, to display, I always put them in a magnetic sheet so you can see exactly the metal that you see. Because a lot of the time, I love the, the cardboard size. envelopes that they come in. I store them there. But then to see exactly what you get is so much easier. You get a lot of metal for your money. You are getting the frame, the pillow, the backing, one, the table, the ornaments, the Christmas tree, the sofa with all that embossing details, the dog, the cat had the Merry Christmas die sentiment as I well. I love this, the mantelpiece. The mantelpiece, that is beautiful, the stocking. So you can decorate your room to your heart's content. Even got a pair of slippers. <laughs> I love that time. It's more. actually not a pair of it's slippers. No, let me what see. You can do it. Sorry. It's the, can you oh, see there? I thought there were little pair of slippers. <laughs> I was a little bolster. You know what? That, it would make a lovely die. I would make those into yeah. slippers somehow. Somehow, yeah. just to prove a point. Um, another one day special, fabulous collection, as I'm sure you'll agree. £27.97, and pence being a phenomenal price, but of course, only for 24 hours. It's not the only deal that we've got for you during this hour, so I'm going to show you some other bits and pieces in a few moments. But for the time being, the details on your screen will get you one day special to you. 742 And if you need even more inspiration, well, check these out. Beautifully elegant. I like it. Yeah, well, it is called the elegant room collection mm. because it does have the elegance uh, from right away. The favorite discovery is all the uh, brainchild of uh, Olga Direktorenko, who, which is an amazing crafter from the Ukraine, and she comes up always with these ideas that are amazing. And it's a, it's a pleasure and a privilege as well to be representing uh, her. Now, when you first look at these particular dyes, you can't figure out really what it, exactly what it is, but of course, it's well, a little snow globe. It's a snow globe that you can create, but it's also a box, a circular box. It is uh, decorations that you can use for your Christmas trees. You can make cards with them. It's a beautiful, beautiful set. So you can see in here, these ones are gonna be the size. The circles are gonna be the, in the, in the, the base and the lid. Then you can cut into to create that, that aperture you have got the base in here which is also but also of course you can just use it as a box itself which is always kind of difficult to have circle boxes but it's a really nice size as well so for chocolates for sweets for Very a lot elegant. of different things that you can put it inside yeah. and of course that you know that the the ability to create cars oh, you know you know that beautiful larger snowflake with uh, three smaller ones as well so you can create in different ways circles are always useful i think for mm -hmm. car making um so there is uh, always that kind of you can create apertures i always say th 
I'm, I'm, uh, I always say that if it's a circle die, it's worth even a little, uh, that extra more well, money. It is, yeah. And you're <laughs> actually getting three in there. Yeah. You could just use for your mats and layers exactly, if you wanted exactly. to. Exactly, exactly. So you can get them for your mats and layers in here. There's no flip. Now, these ones are the ones that create those, um, you know, kind of sand um, hills. Obviously, ah, I have done yes. them in white. Uh, sand? No, yes, it's sand. Snow. Snow. It snow. could be, <laughs> sand. It could be it sand, could sand dunes. Sandy. But I also use them as masking to when I'm creating, <laughs> like, you know, those scenes and I will show you what I mean um, after mm -hmm. so okay. you look like looking into the window I now use those ones to us as, as ah, a show. Mm. there you go so they're kind of cross point mates yeah. so if you're wanting that particular set 12 dies coming to you for 12.99 at 451.944 got more three-dimensional pieces and I a, a beautiful uh, mantelpiece we saw and yes. well, it's one of our oh. shelves wasn't it but yeah. just showed oh what's going on here let me let me turn it on oh okay right. sorry if I can because it's this is proving more difficult Oh, uh, you put little lights in there. Yeah. So basically, this is a, a, a kind of a hexagon um, a a pyramid oh. box. Uh, so basically, what it creates is this box that is a hexagon base, so it's six sides. But of course, being you know a die cuts a piece of paper, and then you can alter it even more so. So you can see here, you die cut it to create the, the six-sided one. You die cut it twice, and I'll hopefully I will show you second or third demo how to do this. Now, also, you have got included the, pa the panel dies that cut into the car, but this beautiful array of the stars, as well as those more kind of almost art deco coming from the florally elements in here. You also have got the single uh, uh, triangle, as well as tags, and that tree as well that you can then decorate it into oh, a little look tree. At that. More modern, but a little bit more. In comparison to the uh, one in the one day special, it's slightly different. But of course, the tag is always very useful to use as a tag itself or to decorate your cars very forever. Very cute. I like these little tree, kind of modern trees. Yeah, so this one, what I just done is I die cut it just once in here and then just cut the base from here to here and that creates a triangle. Oh, one. very clever. I like that idea. And that's cute too. And that one is using uh, the same eye principle, but obviously I cut an extra panel. And then what I have done here is use the uh, Art Deco as well as oh, the other one. Clever. And then for the base, in case you are wondering, that is die cut with this because oh, this is I actually see. a very useful die. Because that you could, even for instance, if you had a heart or something like that, you can it's wrap got a curvature yeah, to it's, it's it. Yeah. It's got a curvature. Exactly. Like so then, idea. it's a good gun to go for. I, you know, if, because it's a very versatile one. And needless to say, we will see these in action as the hour progresses. Don't know about all of them, but some of them definitely. Zero three two four eight five. If you want to get yours, twelve pounds and ninety nine pence being your price. But I do like. I do like a scene, a traditional scene where you're kind yes. of looking through a window, or you've got a nice front door on a card. Yes. And these next sets are beautiful uh -huh. for this. And here, I mean, look at those curtains. I love that one. So you may have seen um, before this one. This one. Uh, but definitely this is a brand new introduction from Paper Discovery. So what you create is as that beautiful curtains, the beautiful menorahs, the beautiful candle, the gorgeous. cat is in there. Um, it's a just a gorgeous to add that decoration into that looking into or looking out, depending how you want it to do it. You know, you can make it. Now you have got also included Take is that. as the, win the windows that open. So you can make it, I mean, it's the same, Kid, but then can you see that this one is a little bit more warm, more you know that one is more um, seaside, like it, yeah. you know, you like more well summery. You can see there, is, is that what you were talking about using those drifts? Uh, the these drifts, are the one that you got there. So oh, I use yes. my distress inks to create that background, and then I use that that kind of sh um, you know the hail, the undulations mm -hmm. in there. But also in this set, oh, you can see how you can layer other elements in there from the collection. You can cut it into a window that opens. You can keep it flat. There is so many ways that you can use it and it's a perfect kind of also I think it's very the window is looking out looking in mm. it's very kind of a very positive uplifting mm, you know nice. bright you know but also you can create with this set it comes with the um, the moon and the stars it's one single die that little candle in there that beautiful uh, windowsill and of course the, the cat in there as well that is included in the kit love that if you fancy getting hold of this set then 23 pounds and 98 pence is the price for 20 dies and of course you can add that in this alongside your one day special as yes. well Paula did you want to say something no, else it's uh, no I just wanted to show you the, oh, the whole set of dies so this one is the window and the pockets and this 
this one is the the other set and everything in this bundle so wonderful there you go three three eight one three six a couple more to share with you before we head down to the demo area this one's nice because you've got a victorian lamppost yes. feature in here oh, always I nice think at Christmas. this one is one of those ones that when you start playing and there is all these ideas in here i only have got a couple of samples uh, but i hope it gives you a hint just a tiny hint of what you can do look at that is it gives you the arch door it gives you the die that cuts into you know a beautiful lamppost the doors the embossing folder that gives you all that fine detail Inc look at the embossing for uh, embossing into the window as well now there are stamps in the one day special that will match that window and that door to create a glass stain effect as well That's and cool. that one i just love the solid nature that warms that you know solid building that door so you get two embossing folders two different designs that will work with the same dies i love that idea that the die will cut out from the embossing folder yeah. fabulous there you go 25 pounds and 97 pence two three four nine seven nine now we're kind of stepping away from the the doors and the buildings to what goes on inside and sitting down with a nice big cup of yes. kind of hot chocolate or coffee <laughs> or something <laughs> like that and this is lovely the sentiments in here are adorable they are adorable and they are very original yet traditional if you know what yes. i mean if it's hard to find stamps that say to have and to hold in case you get cold exactly. you know hug in a mug a snuggle up it's christmas time coffee and friends the perfect blend and these ones are perfect all year round so. you know it's just that warmth it's not just christmas it's autumn it's the spring it's when you need that warm hug and i think that you know it's quite original to have the stamp and the die that you can customize it as well so you can put your hot chocolate with marshmallows or you can put it with the cookies on by the and side whipped cream in there yeah or well. whipped cream is exactly so you can make it so here you can see the mug uh, you know and the cookies just color it in you know what now i'm thinking that would have been lovely with puffy you know oh that puffy yes, that that you heat to, up. yeah that heat up to go and put go over the marshmallows to create that kind of puffy I sweet cloudy that. effect and calorie free absolutely we like mm -hmm. those ones yeah we're we we trying to be good <laughs> but i love how also you have got there the elements the snowflakes that kind of almost um i think you know a bit um how you say Folky, folky, oh, yeah, you so know, so, so style, yeah. but also the enamel tin and thin mm. mugs and things like that. So you can create all those looks with these set as well. Now the stamps, they marry up perfectly with the they dies? They do. So they are outline dies, which means that you stamp and then you die cut. So you can see here the cinnamon and the mug, the, the, the coffee pot. I think it's more of a coffee pot than a teapot. Yeah, but it's you quite can, tall, isn't you know, it? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> no, I suppose you could chop it down a little bit, couldn't you, if you wanted to slice it across the bottom. Yeah, it looked exactly, more like a teapot. Yeah. Would, that's a good idea. And the mug is well you've got room there to put quite a quirky little sentiment in there if Indeed. you wanted to couldn't you so, have so fun with it yeah <laughs> 12.99 you're getting all of those in there yeah. brilliant idea um 812943 um the next one i love because the next one is going to help you create your little gingerbread cookies and this is so cute i mean i'm just like the prices i my you know um yeah, you start it's thinking like, about mm, it. That's well, really sometimes good. <laughs> when you get involved with creating your yeah. finished samples, you don't know the price that they're going to be when I, they're on there. You know, I, I never look at the prices. I mean, I, may, I have to change now, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, but it's just amazing value for money. Now, this set is a really lovely. So it is again a stamps and die. So you have got the outline die that will cut the perfect the stamp in there. So they are cookie imagery Cute. so you can then i mean the, the easiest kind of way to do it is yeah is craft cards stamp and embossing white and then if you want to color in a couple of accents and then just like cut it you can you have got a candy cane in there you have got a stocking you have got a star you have got a house that you can actually personalize it what about doing i mean this is a frame but it could be a frame it could be a, a wrapping a present mm. because you are also in it um you have got if i show you here that these little tabs in oh, here oh i see yeah that then you can first make them into little tags that kind of that handle. and you so could do that with the stockings you as well. could do oh. with any of them so then you could actually convert them into proper tags because obviously this one is big enough yeah. for in the back to say to from uh, so then it's a really versatile and this yeah. is the die that you are main so it's That's also useful, quite good because it's it? a double one 
And I like these. I mean, these are fabulous, just as almost yeah. like silhouette um, dies as well. Yeah, really yeah. cute. I like those. Now, if you fancy getting hold of it, again, twelve ninety nine. I mean, come on, these prices are incredible. Um, six eight one four three four. If you're wanting those. Um, now, the wreath builder is the next one. Now, is this the first time we've seen this one? Yes. Paola? Also, yeah, this one is uh, brand new. Uh, so basically, out of all the elements to do these kind of really warmth um, wreaths, uh, you know, the ones with orange and up, dry apples, tar anise in there, uh, cinnamon sticks. Uh, as well as a quick twigs and the bow in there so it's a really nice that uh, this one is i think in a six by six sort of card the white ma white mice and layer so but you can then use elements into the smaller l um, you know and just make a smaller cards if you want it and create the star and it becomes uh you know a white poinsettia beautiful love that again 11.99 now i need your guys and um, you guys help at here these little lantern type flowers uh, that we've got here i can't think what the name of the plant is now we did initially think it was garlic but then we couldn't see the significance of christmas <laughs> but i'm hoping you guys i think it's kind of like a little chinese lantern tile pl um, style plant very papery Oops. those little elements there. i think it's their um, cloves but, but i'm sure they could be cloves yeah yeah i think that's what they are i yeah. don't know what do you think now Mm. Let us know. Yes. Studio at chamber dot com. Three three seven nine seven two. If you fancy that set, though, but eleven ninety nine. Last set that we've got for you, and this is a pairing. Um, yes. And I love this idea. Complete alphabet as well. Uh, it's a really, really good alphabet. It is. If I we show it, it's an alphabet that comes in three, um, three dice. So you have got. You are not going to loosen any letters. Um, you are going in several of each as well. So you have got like the more of an A yeah, than and so on. And then you are getting the tag builder. So that was the original idea from Olga and then she has gone and built onto this collection it works really well with the uh, window as well that we saw you can do it upside down to create like those decorations it comes with flowers it comes with leaves it comes with the uh, inis and outies as well as the labels that you can like for instance the one that you have got here is the labels that are included in here very thin in between them so you can create the thinnest of elements in Beautiful. there. Beautiful very useful set and at 21 pounds and 98 pence again incredibly affordable one two four six zero six now apologize for us taking so long getting through those but i think it was important that we did show you them yes. all we're going to head back to the demo area now so why not shop online where you can find all those fabulous sets that we've just been chatting about um of course as your one day special in there because that is the star of the hour and of course if your order starts getting to that 60 pounds threshold then you can spread that cost over two payments if you so choose also keep an eye on your post and packing because it might be that your post and packing in shows like this starts creeping towards that six pounds mark so if you're not already a Freedom member, then perhaps consider adding that in as you check out and then you will see that post and packing disappear, not only for this order, but for any order you place over the coming months. So that's certainly worth thinking about. So Paolo, what are we up to? Uh, so we are going to be using the one day special and I'm going to do a stamping card because I think it's really good to show that even though you are getting the stamps, dies, and embossing folder, you can just do plain uh, stamping, and it's just a really beautiful way of doing your Christmas cards. Now I have got here an A5 piece of watercolor card. Uh, you can use any paper piece of paper that is not uh, trying to find the little card. Oh, sure yeah, of course. Yeah. So I'm so using a, a stamping platform because I'm just used to them, but you can use an acrylic block in there so now what we're going to do is the simplest of cards but you know when you have to do christmas christmas card it's great to go for a set that allows you to go really simple really quick and easy or really elaborate because there are people that will require the elaborate yeah, yeah. and there are people who well, you just want to, you know that. And I think simple. this is brilliant because this is just in stamping out everything in one go. In one go. So you have got the whole scene in here and then you can go in. And what I'm going to do is just going to use my uh, water, um, watercolour bru um, brushes. They're not brushes, they're pencils. Mm -hmm. And then just go in. And then going to go in in here. And then just gonna go in around the edges, just adding some more of those edges. Now I'm gonna go with different greens so then they can blend in a little bit more. And then I just gonna I'm just chuckling to myself. Somebody's emailed in and they, they've said that they, they agree with they think it is a little Chinese lantern and they've given the, the Latin name, I think. The, the what, sorry? Ah, Thistles. Oh, of course. It, well, I didn't even no, know. I say, of cool. course. I have to be careful how you say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but, uh, yeah. And Charlotte, bless her, she's just gone on to the, the World Wide Web, done the pictures, and said, oh, yeah, it's that. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, it's that. Yeah. So I'm just going in, and you can see that I'm just going to color in just the actual tree, and then maybe the wreath as well. So I'm just kind of going in quickly and blending see, I it. See, I this idea. I remember making Christmas cards with my kids mm -hmm. when they were little, um, and it was always a good idea when you were on the first one. Yeah. But when they've got to make like thirty odd cards for the, the yeah. kids at school and the teachers and aunties and nan yeah. and all that, there's quite a few cards, and they can soon lose interest. But something like this, you could be stamping these up, and they could just be colouring them in um, whenever and, and they want. Really. And it's also, I mean, I'm using water-based products here, watercolor pencils, but you could use anything. Like if you want, you prefer um, alcohol markers mm -hmm. or you prefer to just leave it clean and simple black and white as well you could do that you can just add a little bit of touch of gold as well there because. is a lot of different ways that you can use it now this can be into a bigger cards you can trim them down if you wanted to just gonna go very simple uh, around here you it, what I love about it is that that versatility with this set then you can go into really you know elaborate decorations or then you can just go in very simple just going to add a little bit of green in there and that will be it I'm not going to do much more to uh, this card it doesn't need that much no. at all does it because then you can just go in uh, like this and then add that those green effects in there can you see how quickly and yeah. you don't have to do anything much in here it's just like that little hint of color yeah and it's really nice to just have to, to just do simple coloring in here and then just gonna go in there with the red and then just pick it up with whatever color you have got in here then go in lovely mm -hmm. nice and easy nice that's what we like easy. sometimes yeah. isn't it Sometimes, yeah. And then on this one, you've added um, some of now, those little yeah, gel Yeah, and what I'm going to do is just going to go for the sentiment. So I'm going to say, don't open till Christmas, just to be a little bit different <laughs> in there. And you've got some really nice sentiments in here. Things like hot cock, um, hot, I'll try again, hot cocoa, <laughs> hot cocoa, <laughs> and fuzzy socks. My teeth don't belong to me tonight. You know, when you're training to be a presenter, please don't shadow me. <laughs> I'm just saying, choose somebody professional like <laughs> Catherine, okay? <laughs> they know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, but then you've got Home Sweet Home. Um, it's beginning to look like Christmas, warm and cosy. Um, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Happy Christmas holidays. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Usually it's me. Right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of the glaze in here, just a little drop. <laughs> I can't dig myself out of that hole. Can no, I just you can. It's just kind of, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, I should be very helpful, but yeah, I'm not. Yeah, she should dig. Yeah, yeah, she should dig. just kind of, yeah. And then I'm going to put a little the star in here, and then going in with the gold one. Do you well, like anyway. okay. Cocoa, yes, I do like it. Cacao. 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 <laughs> and then I'm um, going to do, and then going to put, because it's still wet in here. And just, I, I know that you have probably have noticed that I have gone overboard with my baker's wine for this <laughs> show, because I don't know why. It's just kind of thinking, well, it finishes off the card. It adds a little bit of texture, and it's an easy, quick, e easy. So then you can just wrap around it in here, and then I'm going to go in with my glue, which is behind Lovely. you. That little... Um, Candy cane, like on the baking stripe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's ex I mm. think that's what it is. I think that's exactly why I, I think it. it is too. Uh, because it does that colour, that texture, that candy cane kind of Christmas. It's also the wrapping of something, but look yeah. how quickly and easy. Thank and you have got that element, the elegance from the ants, yeah, and that's it. Beautiful. Thank you, Paul. I really yeah. enjoyed that. Um, and of course, just use one, well, two of those stamps. The main focal point, that image stamp, and then of course a little sentiment, which you could choose any one of those that are featuring in there. Just shows you how quick and easy those cards are going to come together with your one day special. Um, one example of how you can work with it, should we look at some more? Go on then.
beautifully elegant, I love them. Um, so of course we are here because it's a one day special show, launched at six o'clock at a phenomenal price last year through until tomorrow evening when we launch another one. Now of course this stock sells out beforehand, then sadly we have to say goodbye to it. But at the moment we are looking at 20 beautiful dies and 18 fabulous stamps that all come together to create some beautiful cards. Of course you've got your embossing folder and that could be the kind of the center or the core of your card because of course, let's get it the right way around, get, don't put the, the room upside down, but you've got those floorboards featuring with your embossing folder, the panelling as you can see in the fabulous wallpaper that when you put them together, you are creating a lovely homely scene and you've got all the elements there to build up your room. So you've got things like your sofa or your settee there, you've got your cushion, which could be a dartboard to be honest if you wanted it to be, couldn't it? You've got your little bolster cushions there or slippers as I thought, Christmas tree and then you've got that fabulous little frame and of course portrait or landscape that's going to look perfect on any wall lots of sentiments with those stamps so maybe one of those sentiments is going to feature within that frame or maybe you'll turn it into what looks like a mirror or maybe put a little family photo in there again just taking a couple of those elements you can quickly and easily create a beautiful card themed around Christmas and perhaps themed about specific colours that are true to you at Christmas but I like this one as well taking that little side table and popping whatever you like on there it could be that you're putting a vase on there with almost like a mirror behind there the little flowers or maybe you're going to put your cat on there because you could do or it could be a, a little mug it could be a bottle of wine it could be whatever you want to pop on there really and again it doesn't have to be anything to do with Christmas as we've seen from a few of those examples just depends on what you're actually wanting to feature in there but of course the beauty is you can strip it right back and make it as simple as you want with a simple stamp and a simple sentiment that's all you need £27.97 and pence will get you all of those fabulous stamps all those wonderful dies and of course that embossing folder as well eight pounds saving but only up until tomorrow evening so take advantage while you have the opportunity 742 752 now obviously we're busy with the one day special of course it's six o'clock we always are but we are equally as busy for the next two die sets and we're going to be having a look at this first one with Paula straight afterwards and this is proving to be incredibly popular approaching 20 percent of the stock has gone now the dies within here will allow you to create well a variety of different things perhaps it could be this is kind of three-dimensional ornament or it could be like a snow globe it could be that you're turning it to look as if it's like a mantle clock it could be um, a goldfish bowl it could be whatever you want it to be to, to be honest or maybe you'll be taking those elements and creating an elegant box because within those sets of dies you've got the ability to create that band that when attached to a circle will make a fabulous lid or base and I think that's a really pretty idea perhaps handmade chocolates could go in there or you'll just take a few of those elements and create a beautiful tag because again the snowflake is featuring in there in fact you've got 12 dies in total and there's a variety of different ways that you would work with these and Paolo is going to be showing us a couple of those in the next demonstration so there you go if you want in that set just 12.99 for 51944 but perhaps pyramid boxes are more your thing well this is certainly for you then because you could create a beautiful um, little pyramid box simply in one pass because the large die that you've got is actually going to create the side the little kind of tabs to put it together and the base but here's a different version of it snipping out some of those elements turning it into a very angular contemporary style christmas tree but of course if you're using the dies just as they come then you will have that pyramid box with the base already attached so you can see here it's going to cut everything out in one pass put those pieces together cut it out a couple of times and you will be able to create a fabulous pyramid style box as you can see here really is a clever idea and you've got your three panels there cut it out a second time and of course those will be the other three to go on your hexagon at the bottom lots of insert dies there so whether you're wanting stars or contemporary stars in there maybe a Christmas tree then you can add those in but equally so you can use those elements just on their own as a little Christmas card decoration that's sweet, like that one. £12.99 and pence. if you fancy getting hold of these, 032485. Now it's about halfway through the show, so I'm going to head back and see Paula for our second demonstration of the hour. Well, I'll leave the website with you with all those goodies on there for you to have a little look through. We've got all sorts. Of course, we've got those fabulous window style um, cards as well. Um, it might be that you're peering through a window and looking into a cosy living room, or maybe from the living room, looking out. Or maybe a nice cuppa will be on the, uh, on the go. You can see the you've got your cosy set there with your coffee uh, mug and uh, your hot chocolate and that wreath that wreath builder die really is a, a pretty set and again 11.99 so affordable um, but we're going to be talking boxes and boxes think, yeah I'm gonna be doing the circle box and I'm gonna 
that I'm gonna show you how uh, to assemble the box or and you can make it into a you know a snow globe if you wanted to okay. but this is gonna show you how simple the, the design is so I'm going to and die cutting two well or I die cut one and then I had another one of the size so you need one for the lid and one for the bottom okay. and then uh, what you do is you die cut I believe is two of the larger circles um, of, of the same material okay, okay. you can see it here and then one out of the the gold one or Lovely. something like that. You basically you need three of them okay okay and then and then we are going to show you how uh, everything works so now what I have gone ahead and I have put the double-sided tape on here and on here as well so what I'm going to do is uh, let me do this properly uh, yeah, with this one now. Now I kind of have it in my head, and That's then like okay. kind of. So I'm gonna do the lid first. So what you want to do is just put that one that has got the double-sided tape. So you're just gonna lift it up, and then I start in the bottom there. So can you see that the tabs will attach themselves to there? So does it need to? I'm just thinking that if it's gonna be the lid, are we going to see the? Oh, you're going to put that on the outside yes, of it? Yes, exactly. Just, so this is why... Inside out. Yeah. <laughs> because then we are going to put the gold in here. I and see. then that's going to be lit. So can you see how I'm wrapping it around to create a perfect circle? That in was there. easy. So yeah, that's as easy as it goes. And that's why you want to use a very strong adhesive. So I'm using uh, the uh, red liner tape. Okay. Um, where did I put my um, glue? Top tip okay. for you as well. Check out Good Morning and Good Evening, Hachanda. Often we have deals with regards to your red liner tape. Yes. Sometimes we've got them as your seven day um, savers as well. So have a little look. We might even have one that's running at the moment. Um, and of course you can look on the website just to put something in the search field and you'll be able to find it, I'm sure. So what you can do as well, if you are worried about the grab of a red liner tape, or the grab is instant, but the bond is like a long term thing. What you can do is just put double, uh, a little bit of wet glue as well. Okay. So that will give you double bond in a way. You know what I Good mean? Tip, it's just, yes. However, personally, uh, I would always at home, the ones I make, I will always use um, wet glue and now I'm going to spend five minutes trying to look where is my double-sided tape uh, here uh, sorry about this but it's just taking a little bit of time this That's is why okay. I always use wet glue at home and I'm just looking at the different dies here I'm thinking about that obviously you've got the depth that's predetermined with that yeah. die, but there's nothing stopping you kind of adding an additional rectangle to make it deeper you could do it you can do it even if you, if you have a bigger circle you just like had a, a second one because it has got a tab so mm -hmm. you could imagine that this yeah. was it, and then you glue it and then you could be twice as a size yeah, of and it also the tool I'm just yeah. thinking you know when you get those snacks that are in the big tall tube and once you pop them you just can't yeah. stop that kind of tube if you've got a taller um, piece of card yeah. yeah so now we have got uh that's the the smaller circle that's going to go in here can you see that it kind of that's gives nice. you that, that, that one now for the um the bottom of it so what i'm going to do is it comes and it cuts out of the die cutting machine everything cut and folded so you just fold the those um those tabs and what then i'm going to do is also going to go like this so basically to tease the paper expand oh, okay. the fibers a little bit more and so what i'm going to do is going to put it inside the lay the inside the lid okay and i'm going to put a little bit of glue in here can you see it there mm -hmm. sorry just moving a little bit and then when I go in here so n that way I know Clever. that is gonna be a little bit smaller than the base okay uh, then the, the the base is gonna be a little bit smaller than and then what I'm gonna do is the this you can use the smaller one if you wanted to or you can use the larger one both should kind of fit but I think I'm gonna go for the smaller one um, what I'm going to do is just because it's going to be quicker for the demo, just to put wet glue and I'm okay. not going to open it up until okay. the end. See, you could do that in there. Perfect. And then you would, what I would do just is hold it, it and let it dry. Let, let it like this and let it dry and then use the other one in here. Now, can I show you, let this dry? Of course, yes, yeah, start problem. And put something heavy on the top that is not my, I was gonna say my bum, but yeah. <laughs> I cannot. 
<laughs> I don't know why I said that. I shouldn't say that. We say the strangest things when we're live on Air Power. I can yes. vouch for that one. Yes. <laughs> I can vouch that it's not just me. So it's the one. <laughs> so what's your cutting there? And then I just got a die cut. And by the way, if you are wondering what this is, it's hand sanitizer that I wear. So it's it's just so when I'm doing the demos, I can clean my hands if I, I need to quickly. Okay, you don't have to explain. Well, I just like kind of, you know, it's well, not... very open here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, this is the base to create the, um, the base of the snow globe. So, and then, can you see how it works in there? Oh, right, yeah. How simple it is and how gorgeous it is. And you can make it into... Let's hope that this... It's clever engineering. Yeah in there so i'm going to again put double-sided tape because it's going to be a little bit you can use hot glue gun as well probably that would help some people i think with glues is one of those ones that every crafter will have its own preference whether yes. you know i'm so used to use wet glue at home but then when I, every time I'm, I'm, I'm on air i kind of go like oh i'm not sure if it's the right one i'm not sure if this will because sometimes you know you are used for something at home and then when you are here it's just like oh well, you want totally it a bit different you know. isn't it? Yeah. but whatever is whatever type of glue you use for your constructions you know for your you know you're building the 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 boxes or something like that and then can you see how uh, what i'm going to do is i put the double sided there and just gently following that curve in there okay lovely and then because it's quite open in this side in here lovely. and then and we're busy for this um, die set. Quarter of the stock has gone, and this is the first time that we've seen it demonstrated. Um, and you can understand why. Twelve ninety nine to create a fabulous little circular box, or make it up as an ornament or a snow globe. Yeah, and you could do use. I think I was thinking about. I just ran out of time um, to create a, a snow globe card in which the the aperture is like a, you can put the snowflake as hanging from the yeah, aperture that's a nice idea yeah. but you stand, can uh, still use the element dies like the the base one for the card like in a flat sh you know yeah. what you know what i mean that yeah. that in, and that creates into a card that is a snow globe okay, yeah. so if you make it into like a shaker card because you've got the framework where you could actually um, put uh, an aperture yeah. in and then I'm just going to put that in here and and then... Should we um, be considering the weight of our cardstock when we're creating with these, um, Paolo? That's a good question because I don't. Okay. I am the sort of person that I choose the what I wa wa whatever car color, uh, card I want and then I kind of go in, oh, well, maybe I should put a little bit more of card inside it or underneath it to create the heaviness of it. Mm -hmm. So then, basically, this should be now. Can you see? Oh, it? there you go. Perfect. Lovely. Mm -hmm. So uh, there we have it. And then, if you wanted to create, you can have mirror, mirror uh, on the you wall. You could, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> but that could, be, yeah. Oh, it that. could be a clock as it well. Could, yeah. yeah. I think originally that's what Olga had in mind yes. as well. So now, for instance, I about the weight of the card. Now, because I want, if I, for instance, I wanted here a lot of the um, um, the beautiful, you know, chocolates or something mm -hmm. like that, and I wanted to present it like this, then I would have something heavier on the bottom to yeah, create I'm a balance. You could put a weight in there. Yeah, you could. Yeah. You could. Yeah. So what we can do? Can we? D do we have time to die cut the? Uh, that was the snowflake. Oh, I don't know that what I have. Then? Yes, but I, I kind of went and I used my... So I'm going to die cut it out of white. I think okay. it's going to be a good one to do out of white. And then just put it in. Just to show you that the elements that you are getting in here is not just to create the box. It's not just to create the, um, the uh, snow globe. It's also to create the decorated with the snowflakes and the snow hills. And there we have the snow that is look at that oh, i love that pretty. size look how easy this come in here hmm i just kind of like this cut and then i'm just gonna go in with the i should have glue it together shouldn't i just a kind of i kind of want to do things in a quite quick time because i don't i want to show you more things but sometimes it's like no what is it 
less speed, more no, less haste, more, more speed, or something yes, like yes, less haste, more speed. Yeah, I think that's the right yeah. way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is an. Hmm. You don't mm. think convinced. Well, I did say no, no. I'm just. <laughs> I, I was thinking there is an ex. Oh, somebody. Uh, there is a saying in Spanish that Napo Napoleon Bonaparte, N Napoleon said oh, uh, nice. that it was like um, dress me slowly that I ha I'm in a rush. Oh, okay. So it's <laughs> it's it's basically to say that you know sometimes you have to take a calm to to actually be. <laughs> Sorry, but see how lovely that looks, it's that gold, lovely. black and, you know, elegant for me. It's beautiful. Love that. There you go. And there's another variation, as you can see there, that we showed you earlier. And we've almost got that snow globe sitting there with a beautiful little scene. And of course, think of all those other little elements that you'll have in your crafty stash that you could be using to build up the scene within there. Love that idea. Twelve ninety nine. It's a very popular die set. You've got all the different elements in there, allowing you to create a beautiful box, as Paul has just shown us. Or maybe that little snow globe. Again, that's another way you could work with them. Um, but uh, whichever way you want to work with them, you know that you've got value for money because we're looking at twelve pounds and nine nine pence. 451-944 being that item number and of course you could add that um, a little set in alongside um, the uh, one day special if you wanted to so of course details there now the pyramid die let me quickly tell you about that one as well um, we might well see this one in action we've got probably what, about 12 minutes left something like that 032485 being the um, item number on this one again 12.99 very affordable but very very effective it's a beautiful die set and again perfect for any of your gift cards your ornament die set there as you can see 032485 if you fancy those but of course our one day special is where you've got that biggest saving and it's a fabulous saving and it's a wonderful set because you're kind of building up that homely scene perhaps starting off with your embossing folder giving you those details of the home there you've got your wallpaper the wood paneling your fabulous floor feature and then I'll just rotate that to the side so you can see exactly what I'm talking about as that kind of scene builds just simply by passing that through very clever very effective but then you start building your scene up now of course you've got all the elements to allow you to do that by the way of the stamps and also the dies so here we've got the dies now within the dies you've got lots and lots of dies in there there's loads 20 dies in total you've got that tall grand christmas tree and of course you've got all the baubles that you could be adding to those and a star that's going to go to the top fabulous sofa as you can see there the gifts the cat the dog you've also got things like your sentiments your greeting a wonderful little kind of um, shelf unit here with your um, your fabulous books on there your little clock the vase that we saw sitting on the table a few moments ago on one of those cards and of course all the fabulous flowers and additional little elements there to build up a fabulous scene and you've got your stamps and your stamps could be just as simple as taking that scene stamp that we've seen um, and just building that up or maybe one of the sentiments and popping it into the frame maybe adding a little sentiment using the inner side of that frame with that embossing folder and the fabulous little cat there rather cozily sitting on that little side table there or perhaps you're going to create a Christmas card with a wonderful tall tree in there or maybe take it one step further and turn it into a fabulous home space £27.97 and p um, 742 752 if you're wanting to get hold of those now is it coffee time yes i think it might be um, because this particular set will enable you to make coffee cups galore at any time you like of course you've got your hot chocolate in there or your cuckoo if you're wanting to create that um, and uh, yeah all sorts of different elements then even your cookies and your cinnamon sticks and if you want your whipped cream and marshmallows you'll find them in that set as well 12.99 um, 812.943 another one to tempt you with before we get into the next demonstration is this set um, and it's a lovely set because you're creating your little gingerbread elements so it could, could be little cookies couldn't it you've got your gingerbread man there your gingerbread house or your gingerbread lady um, and of course your bells your stockings they're all there and of course you can stamp and um, emboss them heat emboss them with um, your white embossing powder and it'll look like icing on there and you've got the dies that will cut them out as well um, 681434 if you're wanting those and uh, that's what we're working with yeah. next uh, I am so I'm going to be using my um, wow embossing pad which I absolutely love to create that wi uh, white embossing element of the cookies 
uh, into my um, craft cards. Okay. So that's going to go in. So I'm using the, the embossing pad onto the stamp. And then we have got it in here, um, the embossing powder. Now I'm using a cupcake wrapper because it's uh, one of the things that I learned from our Marion, um, which is Marion is from Wow Embossing Powder, is that you shouldn't decant embossing powders into plastic. Oh, okay. Because they, they have got, otherwise they have got a lot of static. Yes. Now, what I do is then, and I didn't want to just use pieces of paper. And the cupcake rubber helps me to just keep it contained and then easily put it in the pot again. So you can see I have made a little bit of a mess in the stamping. But that's fine because cookies usually have got a little bit of a mess, especially after somebody has put their fingers on it. <laughs> but you can see that it doesn't matter because we, what we are going to do is bef before you die cut, you need to, to let it cool down. Once that I put the dye in, that mess is going to disappear. Ah, yes. So, good tip. I didn't, didn't go. so you can actually stamp up a whole sheet yes, of these. Yes, you and can. Cut them out so after. what I'm going to do is I'm going to, usually at home, I will use my stamping platform because um, I just prefer a stamping platform to use than acrylic block. But I just wanted to show you that you can use either. You don't have to just have an embossing pad, uh, embossing um, and a stamping platform. So then the, the, the cupcake rubber. Oh, it's like making a little funnel. A clever idea. Well, sometimes I mean I spilled oh. a little bit. I mean I'm a little eager. What usually I do is I have got one at the bottom and one on the top. You know, it's always better. That's but, okay. but you know, sometimes you have inventions that work and sometimes you don't. This is true. You know, I just put too much. I usually what I would do is, you know, you put it back into the pot after you, you know, after you have done one, and you can look at that. That's a lovely bright white. It is. Wow. It's wow. a wow embossing powder. It is. I have to thank uh, Marion and Richard who um, have been always really kind and generous and I love their embossing powders and their um, heat, uh, heat tool as well. Oh yes, it's really it good. is. It's very good. The wow embossing powder it has to do with speeds. So thank you Marion. Um, so there I have got those two. And shall I do a the gingerbread? Yes, no, let's the, go for it. The reason why I'm doing one at a time is um, that allows as well to cool down a little oh, bit, do you know? Yeah. So that way, for instance, if I put it in here, that won't be as hot as okay. there. Now, there also there is always this debate where is embossing powder or heating or melting the embossing powder from the top or from the bottom. Oh, yes. And it's a good question because, um, again, wow embossing powder recommended from the bottom okay. because that kind of hits. But also, if you are a, um, for TV, it's kind of better because then you can see how mm -hmm. it, it becomes and it's much smoother. I yeah, tend to go sometimes it gets a bit pitted, doesn't yeah. it, when you do it from the, the front, yeah. So sometimes my only concern when I do it like this is because you go too close to the paper and sometimes I have burned it, I'm over eager. Okay. But, um, but it's up to you how you do it, whichever way. So that's done. Okay. That can go back into here. And the excess. And then put it in there. And now I'm going to tidy this a little bit to make sure that this has cooled down. Otherwise, if it's too, and then just kind of matching them up. Now oh, I, I know that I could um, have used an anti-static um, product to make sure that there was no little bits in of the embossing powder. But cookies, again, I think that it's homemade cookies you, that we are trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want that perf perfect it's look. Like the dusting of the icing yeah, sugar. Yeah, exactly. Well. And then just gonna put it in there and then just gonna die cut them. And, and what's, what's this, Paula? What's this what that you put in my well? way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's the glue. It was the glue that was poking out. Uh, I have a funny feeling that by moving the glue, I have moved some of the dye. So oh. if I have done, I'm really sorry. It's not the end of the world. I know. Oh, yeah, okay. it's, it's all right <laughs> for once. <laughs> And there they have. Look at that. Oh, Don't they look adorable. like cookies? They just they look they make like fabulous cookies. little gift tags, don't they? Because there's yes. a room on the back there. As because well. what you could do, so since you want to do the, the is take the the bits, the dye bits that kind of converts it into a dye. Oh, I see. Yeah. So then let's do that. Let's show you how that works. 
Okay, I should have done that. Sorry. So this is the little bit that you're yes. saying about to turn it into a little tag. It's, it's got it, a, I, the little hole in yeah. there. Yeah. So I think it's a really cool die because then you can convert not only these dies but any die that you have got yeah, into a tag. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So, and there we have that. See how what I mean? So you what you have got is a perfect. A little oh, too. Then you fold it in half, and then you just put. So you could put it on the outside. So for instance, if it wasn't our stamp image, if it was something like that, you can put it like that, like mm -hmm. a glue. But you can do it. Just put a little bit of glue in there, and a little bit of glue in here. So and then it's a dancing tag. But you can put two from in the back. You could, that's really good. And also, if you've got a circle die, you could actually add mm. that almost as the little bauble crown, couldn't you? You could, yeah. On the outside yeah. if you wanted to. But uh, I like that idea. Pretty cute. Right, so I'm going to, well, and I think red would be better. Sorry about this. So this is a last minute kind of. That's um, okay. Um, now we have just got a couple of minutes left, so obviously we're going to continue with this demonstration, but we're here because of the one day special, which we'll give you a recap of in a little while. Catherine and Paola will be back with you at 8 o'clock though, so of course that means that you can get hold of your one day special and see it during that hour, but of course you can order at any time over the next 24 hours. Paola will be joining us, I hope, at around 7.30 in Good Evening Kachanda, so we do hope that you can join us as well. We can have a proper little chat, proper little yeah. catch up there as well. And then I kind of colour in a little bit of the, the reds and then I'm going to put a bit of... So I have gone with this dress of inks, yeah. uh, the traditional ones, aged mahogany to create a little bit of colour into the white card. And then I'm just going to kind of hang it in oh, here. Oh, they're adorable. Here. And then what I'm going to do is one of Naughty or Nights, Have a Sweet Christmas. Oh, I like that good. one. And then I'm going to put, what is my black ink in here? Crafting. Yeah, if I miss a bit, don't please don't hold it against me. We won't. And there I have it. Now that's oh, it. Oh, perfect. Absolutely spot on. Lovely. I love it. Just twelve ninety nine for that stamp and die set. Nineteen um, stamps and you nine dies, of course, cutting out all those elements. Twelve ninety nine. But of course, we are here because it's a one day special. Oh, we're going to take a look at where should we do it? Let's do it there. Do it there. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realise we were all framed up ready. Um, you've got your stamps there, as you can see, 18 of those. You've got your 20 dies, and of course that, of course that A5 um, embossing folder. Just to let you know that 20% of the whole day stock has gone in that initial hour, so it's been a popular one. 742752. Paula, do join us at half past yes, seven. Come and say hello to us. <laughs> and do come and join us straight after the break, because myself and Catherine.